Don't be so chilling in the sun. It's that nice, isn't it? new video. This video is going to be about us moving into the caravan and getting ready to hit the road. Um, I've done a little to-do list. A lot of it is already marked which is great but I've got a few little things that I will have to put on there and um, yeah exciting times. We're gonna hit the road this weekend. We take you guys along on um, what we do for the last few days here in Noosa and for the last few days before we hit the road. So let's see what Kale is up to. The car is looking really good. What are you up to babe? I'm just gonna take this round of canes and polish it up before we go. Sounds good. It's looking yep. so good already. Now that it's all cleaned as well. Yeah Kale made up this new front grill looking really good too so we're really happy we'll go over and get those stickers done up at buddy one o'clock or whatever that's right okay guys we are on the way now to pick up our caravan was getting a service um, and apparently everything is looking great we need to change oh, I forgot to tell you what? Um, Remember how we thought we didn't have electric brakes and we got this for no reason? Yes. It's got electric brakes. Oh, what? Yeah, he changed the magnet, that magnet over and all that, so... It that's should, good. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm absolutely right to Yeah, that's that. awesome. All right. Yeah, so the car was in service um, yesterday, all day, and it's looking really, really good as well. So we are ready. There's just a few little things we've got to do, like... Our stickers, very, very exciting. We are going to pick up the caravan now and drive straight to um, the sticker shop, or however you will call that, graphics design shop. Um, and they are gonna put a beautiful straight homemade logo onto our caravan and a few little logos um, on the car. And then we are set. So exciting, hey. Stick it up. Yeah. It's gonna look good, eh? It is. It's so good starting to get to the end of like end of this little process, like three months it's been. The store on a car and caravan. Four. four months. But still I think within that time frame like we've done a lot of work. Yeah. And I'm sort of stoked that I can step away from it now and like just start to enjoy the moment because I feel like we've been off work now for four months. We got here in March, and I feel like I haven't stopped. Like if I was to, if someone would say, "Ah, oh, mate, you got to bloody go back to work," I'd be like, "Nah, man, I'm not even ready." You've, I've been, I've been even, working the whole time, so yeah, it's like, you didn't even have any. Yeah, I haven't. It, it hasn't. I know that's probably like stupid to say. Oh yeah, but you're like, you know, you're free. Like you weren't working, which like you know, I'm so grateful for. But but still, like it was flat out. So I'm actually looking forward to like hitting the road. And sort of just, you know, just us in the open road, you know. Can't wait. There it is. Ready to be picked up. <laughs> Thank you. I can't bloody wait. Are you also a bit nervous though? Or not at all? Yeah. So I don't think you have seen our setup fully yet with the car, the caravan on the back, plus the tinny on top. Actually, I haven't even seen it like that because when we had the caravan on the back, we didn't have the tinny on the roof. We'll see, but you're gonna see the whole setup or half of the setup with the caravan and the car in a second. going directly to the sticker shop and get the stickers on. That's what we 
we'll be doing in bloody two days. That's right. <laughs> Here you can see our setup one more time. It's so bloody good. And Kayla reversed that with no worries. He knows exactly what he's doing, which is great because I don't. <laughs> I've never told anything in my life. So um, that's going to be an interesting journey, I think. Good time to learn. Yep. So these are all the jobs we needed to get done today. Um, I don't think we're going to start moving any of the clothes into the caravan just yet. We're probably gonna do that tomorrow or on Sunday, depends when we leave. But um, yeah, today would just be a little bit early. We would always have to walk down to our caravan to get our stuff. So we see you tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. It is a absolutely beautiful day in Noosa today. And today is the day we're going to move our clothes into this tiny little space. I'm going to show you quickly what storage space we're working with and um, what clothes we're working with. <laughs> I hope everything is going to fit. All right, so I quickly <laughs> put you guys up there. Um, so a few days ago I actually already moved most of the kitchen stuff in the kitchen and um, for our clothes, we mostly want to use these cupboards up there. I think they're not going to be enough, but um, I quickly show you how much space is in there. Both of us would have two doors like that. I bought us some little storage boxes from Ikea. Um, we'll see if, they, if we even need them, and Kayla is the same over there. Um, but we've got so much storage space in the kitchen. I don't think we're gonna use all this down here because as you can see, that's really deep. And as you can see, I already put all our kitchen stuff in here. We worked with like a no slip mat as well as little storage boxes because I think that's just gonna make it much easier because we don't have drawers. And then I think down here, um, maybe also some food storage, but we have a lot of space here as well. Plus up here too, where we have so much space to put whatever in. So I think we could maybe use some space down here for our clothes as well. Don't forget so easy about a rubbish bin and about a laundry bag and stuff like that because yeah, that's just not the first thing you think about. So what I've got us as well is I have this little rubbish bin from Ikea. It's just going to sit there and probably when we camp up we're going to put it outside or something. And then under here we've got storage where we can get onto here or also from here. We think one of these is going to be our washing laundry sort of cupboard. And here we've got the same. And then we've also got a perfect little closet here for some hanging clothes and for whatever you want it. And a little mirror. And then we've got a big cupboard here. Um, and I think that's mostly it. This is just a tiny, tiny little cupboard which connects with the other ones. Um, Oh no, we've got a tiny little one here as well. Maybe for shoes or whatever. So yeah, that's the storage space we're working with. And now I'm gonna show you <laughs> with how many clothes we're working with. All right, so these are the clothes. Both of us, Kayla and I, we have just <laughs> toilet roll. Don't know what that is doing there. Um, we both have a big suitcase full of clothes. Um, but I'm positive that we can manage to fit that in there. Oh. So this one is mine. <laughs> Let's do this. And to be honest, now it does look like freaking heaps. <laughs> now that it's with the caravan. 
By the way guys, just because this is right on top of my suitcase right now, remember how I told you that Hannah Goes Retro does these um, cool beach throw-ons? So that's mine. And they have a big hoodie on them as well, so you just chuck them on, you've got a big pocket in the front. And I think they're just so bloody cool. I'll link her Instagram um, page in the description below. Go check them out because they actually do very individual and personal um, products. So I could completely choose the fabric, I could choose the color and everything. Um, and it's all sustainable style, so they find the fabrics all from op shops or second hand fabric and I really really love that about it so definitely make sure to check it out there she is that's a beautiful face behind Hannah Goes Retro <laughs> she does all the amazing work <laughs> To be honest, I'm a little bit mad on myself when I see that because I've got so many clothes that I probably don't need, but I'm going to take them along and when I see I never wear them, I throw them out. Alright, I'm going to go and get Kel stuff now. So i catch you again when everything is in the cupboards and hopefully everything is sorted. So what I've done, as you can see, our bed is up um, and under here we've got so much storage which is great so we have all our backpacks and and then I'm gonna show you how Kel's cupboard looks that's it so my long pants and Kel's as well a few chompers and Kel is actually just sorting out all his tools and um, extra parts and stuff we're gonna bring and he said that also looks quite tight let me see I haven't even seen myself um yes <laughs> they are packed and the second box looks like that doesn't even close oh my goodness but you know I guess that's gonna be really really helpful when Kel has all his not all he has still two massive toolboxes up there but a lot of his tools with him so if he needs to um, get a job for building a deck or whatever so we can get some money in that's definitely going to be helpful as well as if something um, breaks or whatever he has all his tools with him so there are a few things that we already decided we don't bring um, I'm probably going to bring them to the op shop today and then also need to buy two more storage boxes and then we are done for today I think so I see you guys tomorrow when we are getting all our groceries and getting ready food wise see you then good morning everyone so we are just trying to organize everything um, which is doing the last bit of washing I've got two more loads to go and we are going to turn on the fridge and everything now because we want to go get groceries um, later in the day today and then um, we have a nice cool fridge to store everything. What are you last tasks you need to do? Um, put Mac tracks on. I don't know how they work. Is that your last task? Okay. You? Pretty much. Well you sort of need to come turn on the fridge because I don't know how to do that. Oh. So everything is running right now, we just turned it on and um, should be ready to put any sort of crosses in the fridge. Which is great. 
we finally can start filling, filling it up. It feels real now. Okay, it is a few hours later now and um, we just enjoyed our last morning coffee with Kel's whole family, which was really beautiful. And now we are getting back into it. Um, so, as you've seen at the start of the video, we've got this list. And luckily I can check, move clothes into caravan, clean up downstairs area, polish car, fit awning. And now the last thing that is not marked is the big grocery shop. So I'm just quickly going to write, as you can see, I'm a list person, a quick list what we should get and also um yeah I always I like to do groceries when I have sort of an idea what menus we're gonna cook during the week just because I feel like it helps you so much in not spending too much money on groceries and not having food that is in your cupboard and just um forget about it so me and Kel we just um, like to sort of plan our meals it's not always full on plan perfectly but sort of planned and then we go to the grocery store and just buy the stuff for these meals and snacks and whatever um, and we have actually rolled really good with that in the past few years so I'm just gonna do that but obviously we have a lot of other things like rubbish bags and all that stuff that we just have to get for now little break my mama-in-law Made a yummy apple and grapefruit cheese. So good. Can I just say something while I'm in the moment? Do not bring on a trip anything you think. If you second think something of bringing it, don't bring it. Because I've we've I've come to the point now that we're packing now and I'm stressed out to the max because I'm like, holy shit, we do not have enough space for all this stuff. Because you think like. Or we're going for like one or two years got to bring as much shit as we bloody can because like you know what if we need it if you're second thinking anything don't bring it don't even bring it you get it on the way like you know just bring this shit that you think is absolutely necessary because I honestly think that with half the stuff that we've got in here babe we're gonna be taken out anyway honestly I know as bad as it is and it's stressing me the F out it's just yeah. ridiculous. Seriously guys, I know it's so stupid because obviously we are excited like crazy. I think that's a really bad angle. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I, I feel like we don't even have much stuff. Yes. I feel like it's like, we don't even have much stuff. We don't. And I thought we had heaps of space. Yeah, me too. But, but like, you know, that's the thing, that's the thing. We've never lived in a caravan. It's yeah. tiny space. I thought we have so much storage space. We're not going to have a problem at all. I think we just have to accept that, like, you don't you're going caravan. basic now, bro. Yeah. And just don't overthink it. Just, just get on the road, because mm -hmm. I think when we're on the road and we're like one or two weeks, like, I, 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 it's starting to kick in now. Where I'm thinking, like, we're going to hit the road. I don't even know where I'm staying the first night. We're going to be like, I can already That's see it happening. That's what stresses me out yeah, too. I can already see it happen and we're going to be on the side of the road somewhere because we like checked in too late to a caravan park and we're just like <laughs> on the side. Beanie bloody runs off over the highway. We're screaming after Beanie, Beanie! And then like, bloody like put the awning out and the awning like folds over the whole caravan. Yeah, can, you, can you believe we have not even tried out the awning yet because we where we are time. right now we don't have space. We can't fold it up because we don't have space. Yeah, and that. So we, we, we literally have... We haven't even turned on the gas in our kitchen yet. I don't know, I think we're rambling on too long anyway now. But like, I just need to get that off my chest. Because that's all... I've, I've been working flat out. And that's all I'm thinking about is just like... What? So yeah, guys, this was a really good explanation of Kale. We are stressed. I feel really stressed. I'm an organizer. I'm a planner. And I don't even know where I sleep my first night. We just have to plan to go up to Bundaberg. And that's all the plan we have. <laughs> oh, that stresses me out. And what stresses me out as well is I don't even know if Beanie's gonna like it, you know. 
that that stresses us a bit too because we don't know how he's gonna like the life on the road he has never really traveled so but we are really positive and obviously excitement is just so freaking high I can't even describe it really it's ridiculous <sighs> I'm back home again oh my god I'm so exhausted it was like the biggest job ever plus <laughs> it's just um, mentally so exhausting because you've got to think of everything and it's just how it is when you move out the first time so gotta get everything as you can see it's already um, getting a little bit dark it's I don't know what the time is actually I don't know late afternoon but I'm gonna try put all the groceries away now and then we're basically done for today with some little jobs tomorrow and we're off I am done I put all our groceries in the cupboards and it fit really really well I'm so happy with it the fridge I'm just so proud of our fridge it's just the best like how good is it to have a fridge like that isn't that just awesome you know how they are fridges that are like an S key and I really don't enjoy that too much so anyways it's getting so late and we are really exhausted aren't we babe yep yeah it has been an exhausting couple of days um, maybe we're gonna catch you tomorrow one more time just to show you how everything looks when our bed moved in here and, and all that and if not we definitely see you on the road thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe because now the big adventure just starts and we see you in our next video so let's make this bed